Uh, my name is Captain Jeff Johnson. I own Flyfish Rockport. Do I have to put my title in there? I always thought that sounded cheap. Rockport, Texas, in my humble opinion, has probably the best red fishing in the U.S. Um, certainly in sheer numbers and just quality of fish. And yeah, it's still a little bit undiscovered, but that's changed a lot in, in very recent years. Um, but largely, yeah, you won't hear about it in as many fishing magazines, or maybe you don't hear about it uh, on YouTube as much, or you know, it doesn't have the sex appeal of the Florida Keys or the Bahamas or whatever. But I had fished here years and years ago uh, via another friend and never really thought about living here um, until you get old and you realize being cold in the winter if you can't snowboard every day kind of sucks. Cool, dude. I think that was a lesson line out. Get that fly line back out there. That big scar. Just let me know what you need to do. Here you Sheep, <laughs> I think it's easier to catch a permit in the Bahama, or excuse me, Belize or Mexico than a sheep's head in Texas. Most memorable fish. Thank you. Um, lots of good fish with people. Um, I'm still looking for the elusive 30 inch trout with a client in my boat. That has not happened yet. All kinds of close, 29s, 28s. Never the 30 inch trout, that is hopefully going to happen someday, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Um, lots of big redfish, you know, 40 plus inches, 50 plus inches. Um, the biggest to date was actually caught by my wife, which uh, the biggest in my boat came in just over 53 inches, uh, which is a huge redfish anywhere. And uh, that's of course very memorable. Um, I had a client last year bring one in that was probably not as wide as my hand, which I was very proud of and took photos and posted online as well because that's hands down the smallest redfish I've ever seen. And I thought that was equally memorable. <laughs> Rob wants me to point out, and maybe we'll get this on video later, that I definitely have some 72 inch wide longhorns I found in the water. That was really cool. I get, we get a lot of calls from clients or prospective clients, new saltwater anglers. The most important thing to me that I want to convey, especially pertaining to redfish, is I don't want people to be intimidated. I think it, it's pretty well known that, hey, I'm going to go saltwater fishing, but I've only fly fished for a year. I'm not good enough. And that doesn't have to be the case. You can saltwater fish three times in earth freshwater fish three times in your life, that doesn't mean you're not good enough to come down here and have a good experience and see a bunch of fish and maybe you catch one, maybe you don't. Um, but I feel a lot of people going into saltwater fishing just feel like it's so hard, they're not good enough, they're behind the eight ball already and it doesn't need to be that way. But at the same time, it's also very much not easy. It's not a sure thing. It's not a gimme that you're going to catch fish. Um, 
So yeah, you should be comfortable with a fly rod a little bit. You should hopefully be able to get 20, 25 feet of line out. Um, I never would ask somebody to double haul if they're not used to double hauling. That's not a necessity in the salt. It's an advantage. It's a market advantage. Uh, again, especially red fishing here, you know, you get into some different situations, different fish, um, that changes, but I, I feel red fishing, you don't have to double haul a 25 foot cast most often. Maybe it helps you in the wind to get it there better, get it there quicker. Um, and I just, I've always been really mindful of how hard the saltwater is because I've saltwater fished a ton myself and had to learn somewhere and struggle along the way. But I don't want people discouraged before they've ever been out here and seen it or tried it. And I don't want people just to think, I can't throw it 75 feet, I'm not in the game. And that, that really isn't true in a lot of saltwater fishing, but certainly down here. Yeah, with tough vision, if you're fast, they might be 10 feet from you. Uh, but yeah, I think being fast to 25 feet where we are will get you in the game a lot. Uh, anything longer than that, especially on a nice bright day where we see the fish a long ways away, um, you just get even more shots. Uh, <laughs> cool. How, many, how many times have you been hit by a back cast in the client? Today, twice. Most other days, <laughs> if you're not hooking your guide, you're probably not trying hard enough. <laughs> But I tell everybody in our flats boats, I was like, hey, look, if you see a fish before I do, cast at them. Casts are free. And believe me, I'm pretty quick back there. Yeah. Rock, Rockport's awesome. Rockport's located um, on the central Texas coast. The closest town most people have heard of is Corpus Christi, which is a 30-minute drive and has an international airport. And then we're located really well for our business and clients. Um, we're just over two hours to Houston, three hours to Austin, two and a half to San Antonio. Uh, so we're actually pretty convenient for all those big metropolitan areas. Dallas is a little bigger drive. It's six, six and a half hours, but still doable for a weekend or a, an easy flight down. Um, it really is a great little spot on the water. Awesome. I think that's tons. Perfect. Thank you for doing that. Absolutely. Let me tell you about this pink stripy thing. Yeah? How long have you been fishing redfish, bro? What do you Boy. think your best and worst <laughs> moment of the day was today? Uh, <laughs> they probably were the same moment. 